here I am once again backstage at Celebration Europe, this time with Carrie Fisher. And uh, we've just been on stage together and had a, a, a fun time, or from my perspective, it was I fun. had a horrible time. Did you? It was awful. No, it was great for me. It was How good, was wasn't it, it for you? No, it was. It was. Really, yeah. Are I mean, you going to be able to show our little reenactment? I don't know, maybe. Maybe they can clip this into this little interview. I think that Absolutely. they should. And I thought it was a very accurate reconstruction. I laid down on the ground. You did. I wore the hat. Well, not the hat, but a hat. You wore the ridiculous whatever that I was. Did. And we hid behind the the, the log That's or right. the couch in this case. That's it right. I think we're going to start doing that all over the world. We're going to take it on tour. We could tour it, and then we could sell your book <laughs> off the back of it as well. That'd we'll make great. up a song with it and everything. <laughs> So we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Return of the Jedi this year. Um, what are your real thoughts about the gold bikini? Because it is something that's a burning question for many people. I wish that I could still, that I still looked good enough to wear it. And in another sense, I'm glad that I don't have to wear it anymore. <laughs> um, it was just, look at it, it's not actual clothing. I no. mean, there's nothing on the sides. And I was very happy that when I wore it um, the day that we worked on the whatever that, the Sarlacc Sea. Oh, that, yeah, the, the Sarlacc bit there, yeah. Well, I had a double, and she had that on. And I was so happy that someone else, that I had a peer that was could wear another cement uh, bathing suit. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, uh, what, what were your thoughts when you first read the script uh, for Return of the Jedi and found out that Luke indeed was your brother? You know, honestly, I. It, I just have the worst memory in the world. But um, I do remember, however I found out, and I don't think it was in the script. Uh. I think I was told, voce a voce. So I think I was told, and I remember being suspicious. Like, did they think of that now? Uh. You know, I, I got very involved in that. Wait a minute, what about when I kissed him in that room with the medical robot in the mm. water? Yeah. You know, so th that's what I got involved with. Not did the... they know then, sort of thing? Yeah, why would you have me kiss my brother that way? You know, yeah. so that's that's how I got involved in it. Yes, yeah, so and that's, and you just you totally got immersed in those things. Yeah, thinking stuff. back on what it would affect and what it had affected. And when you finished Return of the Jedi, obviously at that point you'd made three Star Wars films. Were you ready to finish, or would you have liked to have gone on? And no, made I could, one? like I was, I could have gone on because it was. It was fun. It was like a crew of people. We'd had this really particular experience. I mean, and I was the only girl in an all-boy fantasy, you know. Mm. And so it was a good gig to have. And I was sorry to see it go. The last day when we were shooting up in Endor, which was at Crescent City, yeah. the crew was drinking. <laughs> I woke up with somebody who drunk NyQuil and had green lips. So that's <laughs> that's my that's that how it went good, out for me. That was a good rap party, <laughs> that one, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, and on that bombshell, it's been a pleasure <laughs> talking to you, Carrie. Ladies and gentlemen, Carrie Fisher, thank you very much. Thank you, darling. <laughs>